Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I have some mail. Um, look, Beatles reached out to me and asked if I would like to try one of their sets. Um, and this one is the one they sent me. I love the packaging. Like, look, it's, it's hollow. And I love the little heart. So this is a 20 colors gel polish kit. Um, and this is, um, it's rainbow CL583. It gives you directions and warnings and ingredients. So be bold, be you, be Beatles. Very nice. Gives you expiry dates. So as we open, look at this. Let's see if I can go in a little bit. Look at this. So, let me pull it out. And then it comes, it has, let me get this out of the way. Um, it's got the booklet, so it tells you how to do a manicure. And... Um, how to prevent peeling, why it won't dry, why it's wrinkling. So it gives you all the, the, the tips and it tells you how to remove. So it goes over the most common mistakes that people make. But look at this holder. Like, it's plastic. So these are all the colors. And it... Um, this is the base coat and top coat. Oops. And matte top coat. So it's got the glossy top coat and the matte top coat. And then it has all the colors. So it goes from 823 up to 842 they are these are smaller bottles so they're five mil bottles um top coats and and that are 7.5 mil so they are tiny bottles but when you're not when you're just starting out or you know you just want to get a few colors to try them out these kits are perfect because you've got enough here for a couple manis each so um i'm not gonna i don't want to waste and, and do a swatch for each one um because i don't want to waste the polish but i'm gonna do a mani um oh look at this red so that's eight two three i'm just gonna go through and then show you all the colors so i'm just gonna move out 824 So, um, I am going to use 826 and 827, um, but I just want to say I really like this case. I like the fact that they come in, and you can stack these, I'm sure, but they'll uh, sit nicely on my shelf. Okay, so hang on. Okay, so 826. So, because I want to use this as a base, and I'm going to do... 
some ice cream nails and I thought this would be perfect. So I'm just kind of smoothing it out. I kind of um, just do light feather. Okay, so now second coat. So we'll just put a second coat on in this one. And then we will pop it in the lamp. And then I'm going to use um, 827 um, on top of this. Okay, so I'm going to pop this guy into the lamp. And 827 is going to go on here. I really like it. It's a really pretty glitter. And because uh, the stamping plate I want to use, um, I think it kind of gives it that kind of mystical um, space kind of kind of look. That I'm going for okay so I'm gonna finish off these and then we'll come back and we'll do some stamping okay one sec okay so I just thought about it and I am going to use the matte top coat because I'm gonna do um, watercolors um, so I figured it will look well I always matte top coat um with watercolors so they work better and i forgot to put my club back on i just realized that um because the watercolors will um when they're glossy it's kind of like a duck's back it just kind of rolls right off but with the whoops with the matte top coat um you're able to paint and this is whether you use gel or regular polish you always need to use a matte top coat okay so we'll be back in a moment once i cure these oh and i wanted to mention i'm matte top coating all of these because i don't know <laughs> which nails i'm gonna stamp on yet i um so i'm just gonna matte them all and then we're going to go from there. So I just wanted to mention that. Okay, hang on, I'll be back. Okay, so look at these. Don't they look awesome? I don't know. The only word I can say is sexy. I really like matte when it's got glitter on it. I don't know. It just... I'm not always about matte nails because I don't do them that often on myself. But... Oh, they look nice when I do them. Okay, so stamping glit. I am going to use this is um, space ice cream from Pretty Fingers by Robin. That's very cute. So we're going to use this one. Managed to get both films off in one shot. So. Clean it off per usual, and then I always wipe it quickly. Okay, so bah, bah, bah. Do I have everything scraper and polish. Okay, we're gonna stamp. Okay, so first off, I want this cat, this space cat. He looks very cute. That's temper. I'm like, where did you go? I had you a second ago. So I'm just going to go in and take off the things I don't want. Very carefully. Um, you can also go in with your scraper card. 
and I'm going to do this now. Oh, very cute. Okay. So then I'm going to do I guess it's like a crystal ball. And didn't want to come off the stand. <laughs> the nails because I kind of want to have a little bit of um, contrast. But I wanna... but I want to do a variety of the different images. And just using the end since I've got a lot on the top. Okay. So I kind of went sideways with the, um, the paintbrush since it's not um, it won't fit. That's what I, the words I'm looking for. Okay, an ice cream cone. So, take that off. And there's one little thing right there. That won't fit, so maybe we'll do this one. Mm, I love you to the moon and back. Let's see if that. this one um sorry there was something I saw there and I didn't want to add on there okay so center because normally with me this would be my pinky so that's why I figured I'll do that one so we got do 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 I think that's good and then on the other hand, I'll do some um, different images. So hang on one sec. Okay. So I am today. I'm going to use my Artisto. What is it? Artistro watercolor paint set. I got this. It's a travel set. I am off of Amazon. Um, it's got a lot of metallics in it, and I kind of wanted to use the metallics for a lot of these images, especially um, like the suits and the spaces, space, the, the, the um, space suits and that. So, and this one came with a fancy pen. <laughs> um, like you can push the water in, um, but I'm not... Um, I'm actually not going to use this one because I like my other one because this brush is a bit thicker. But um, and it comes with a regular paintbrush as well. You can use regular paintbrushes. You don't have to have the water pens. Hang on one sec. Yeah, you don't need need these pens. I just I just like them. And then sometimes I'll put a little bit of water in, but I don't put a lot just because I don't want my um, pen to flood. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through and color 
these in as I go. I'm only going to do like one or two with you and then I'll just come back with a final look. I was debating on reverse stamping. I mean, I love reverse stamping, but then I was like, hmm, I kind of wanted to do um, the um, watercolors as well. So I'm just adding a little bit of yellow to the moon. Some days I think watercolors are easier and then some days it's like, oh, I, I kind of like the, um, I'm going to hair in here. Where did it go? I think that's my hair. Hang on. Okay. So now I'm going to do silver. I figured with the watercolors for this kind of design because a lot of these images were a little smaller and a lot more detailed. So I figured that's why I would do the watercolors. And then do the little spy scope this color. Now for his I'll oh, make it blue. I was trying to figure what color to make his um his visor. So look at that. See, and that was pretty easy. That was, that uh, went pretty good. I, I want to do this one. So I'm going to do the paint brush metallic. that part and I always have a thing of water and then I have paper towel so then between colors I rinse off and what we're gonna do this brown And then if you want it darker, let it dry and then go back on over and do the color. So now I want, I want some orange. So I'm just gonna do some orange. I'm going to rinse that off and go in and make this brown again. And then I want to get some red. There, what do you think? Is that bad? And I kind of get one a little over. So one nice thing with the watercolors, if you go in with like a little wet brush, you can kind of get rid of 
Okay. Anyway. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to probably fast forward this little section and then we'll come back when I finished everything um, with the next steps because I don't want to, this video is already half an hour and it's way too long. <laughs> okay. So I'll be back. Is that good? Nope. They're not interested in talking. <laughs> Daisy. Pippa. This one twirls around her bowl. <laughs> 